What's going on everyone? Today we are fishing a very unique scenario. We've got this saltwater pipeline that's leading from the saltwater creek into this retention pond right here. And I have a feeling there's a lot of fish stuck in here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we can catch. I've got one of my favorite setups right here. It's a slip float rig to a live shrimp. And we're just dropping it right in this rip right here. Look at this. When that bobber goes down, there's gonna be a fish on it. So here in Florida, I've noticed there's, there's a lot of ponds like this, just randomly, and I pass it all the time. Uh, the thing is, I never think twice about like, hmm, what kind of fish are in there? I just think, you know, I, I don't really think to fish it. But this time, I noticed that this pipeline actually it gets fed by a creek right here. And that creek leads out to the intercoastal waterway. Lots of stuff come in here, especially during the winter time like it is right now. Um, and winter time, they come in to move into the creeks because it's warmer, there's food in here. And to me, this to me says that there's fish trapped in here. So interesting that, you know, you kind, of, you kind of see these little ponds everywhere, but you never really think to fish it. What'd you get? Ladyfish. <laughs> Wow. Whoa. Oh, look at that eye. Uh, it's pooping? Yes, yeah, pooping spray at you. Here. At me? Uh. Oh. Let's put on another shrimp and do that again. Maybe there's something else there. Whoop. Okay. So there I, I have a feeling there's a lot of different kinds of fish in here. And that. You know, today's just kind of one day. But the other day, I hooked a big snook here. And the other day, I hooked a big pinfish and a mangrove snapper. And my dad has hit a black drum here before. So there's a lot of different kinds of fish here. It's that feeder creek right there that pushes all these fish in here and gets them to get stuck in here. It's, it's hard for them to leave. It's hard for them to find that hole to get back out. So there, there's a lot of fish just kind of stuck in here. Let's see what else we can catch. Oh my gosh, S stole it. It stole the whole thing. Just left me the head. So when the tide is coming in, I notice that there's water shooting out from this rip right here, from this, from this sewer. That's because when the tide comes in, it fills this up and starts leaking it out into here. That's how I think fish get in and out of this, this pond right here. But when it's low tide, there's no, there's no rip here. There's no moving water at all here, actually. It's all just still water. So honestly, I think any time is a good time to fish. But for me, I think that high incoming tide is the best because you get to see this moving water right here. And I get to float this stream right here. This float is really good when, when it's moving. It's, it really presents the bait really naturally um, because it just kind of makes it float along Whereas if you plant it and stick it to the bottom, it's kind of stuck on the bottom. Fish like to wait and ambush things that are moving by it. So right now, I can, you can expect fish to be facing this stream right here, waiting for something to shoot out. And then they go and hit it. This is a jumpy shrimp. Brendan! 
Okay. Could be like a mangrove snapper or something like that. I don't know what. I don't have unlimited shrimp. Maybe I should try a dead shrimp first. I'm gonna try a dead shrimp like this. I'm gonna put it on like that. I smell it to make sure it's not rotten, but it's not. It smells great. Just like a dead shrimp. Here. That's a nice one. I didn't expect that. A croaker. A croaker. These are really tasty fish, but we're letting everything go today. Just because we're doing this for fun today. Look at that. That's a pretty big one. That's a nice one. <laughs> Who would have thought in a little sewer like this? That smacked it, didn't it? It did. All right, let's put another one on. But that... It stole it like a million times before I could get it. Let's try it again, let's try it again. Dropping it right here. What the hell? A crab. Freaking crab. You got stuck on a crab. <laughs> I knew some crabs eating some of this. Oh my gosh. He really got it, huh? Yeah, it really got it this time. I was like, what the heck? That could be one thing stealing it. That could be something. Just feeding fish right now at this point. Should I let it eat longer? What do I do?
What is it? It's another croaker. What a surprise. <laughs> a lot of croaker here. What the? Maybe we should we should make a croaker sandwich or something. There's <laughs> so many croakers. Another croaker. Hi. Now, I've hooked a snook in here before. That's what I'm kind of looking for right now. I mean, the water out to behind me right now, it gets to like 20 some feet. That's a pretty big, that's a pretty big drop if you ask me. Especially for a little pond like this. Like that water right there is like 14 feet. Out in the middle is like 22 feet. There's got to be some bigger fish hiding around here. you can't I don't know maybe a, I don't know holy crap what is it? oh my god it's a freaking huge oh it's a huge uh flounder what in the world whoa all right watch out I'm gonna swing this up okay whoa that is a big flounder. Whoa, Brennan has a bite taken out of it. Whoa. What? Look at that. I was wondering what was hit it so hard. My goodness. Dang. That's a nice fish. Cool. Let's get a picture and then release them. Okay. Look at this. Look at this mark right here. It looks like a finger. It looks like uh, maybe an osprey hit it or a bluefish took a bite out of it. Well, what do you think? Let's let this guy go. I think there's not enough meat on here to eat it. And uh... Wow, look at those gnarly teeth. Some pretty gnarly teeth, don't they? Right. Look at their teeth. Okay, let's let him go. Oops, see ya. Nice. That's something different, huh? I did not expect that. I can't even believe I caught a big flounder like that. It's catching small croaker and then all of a sudden something like that pulled. It was feeling really different than the croaker fighting. It felt, it, flounders fight differently than croakers. Fishing here in this little pond actually proved to be uh, kind of successful. I caught a lot of different kinds of fish here. Um, and this isn't the first time I fished here. This is actually, uh, my mom lives in this neighborhood right here. This is a, a little retention pond back here uh, that's, like I said before, it's fed, it's fed the water from the intercoastal creek right behind her house. Uh, we caught a lot of different species of fish and I've caught a lot of species of fish here before this video. So I wanna encourage you, if you have seen these ponds and you're kind of wondering, should I try it? As long as you're legally allowed to try it, I say go for it. Because there's a lot of different kinds of fish in here. They might not be as big as the ones in the big water, but honestly, that was a nice sized flounder. It's bigger than the ones that I was catching out on when I was on my boat. It was a really fun time. I love the mystery of the, the fishing today. Um, that's really what draws me to fishing is because when that float goes down or that rod tip starts bending, you don't really know what it is. And when you bring it up, it could be something huge or it could be something tiny. It's kind of like gambling to me. Like, I'm just throwing my shrimp in there. You know, shrimp aren't cheap either. I spent maybe $20 on, on like, on my, my shrimp for the day. But yeah, I would rather, I'd rather throw money into this and get fish than to throw money into like lottery and try and win money. That's my way of gambling. 
Comment below, what do you think? I hope you liked this episode. It was pretty fun just sitting here on the sewer catching fish with you guys. Um, if, if you like this video or you like fishing videos like this, follow us on hayskipperfishing.com. We've got a lot of information on there as well. Um, we actually have a lot of tutorials on how to fish. We've got a lot of baits on there. A lot of different things that I think you're gonna like. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next week.